Elon Musk has made a bold claim. Starship will one day go to Mars. However, with SpaceX's current technology, the chances of successfully achieving this are slim. In response to this, NASA, with its vast experience and expertise, has brought forward a solution, Nuclear Thermal Propulsion, NTP. Recently, NASA made a breakthrough in this area, which could unlock significant possibilities for Starship and its mission to Mars. But what progress has NASA made, and how could this new technology benefit SpaceX's Starship? Let's delve into this fascinating advancement. SpaceX's Raptor engine is a remarkable piece of engineering, but it has one major weakness when it comes to long-distance interplanetary travel. It is still a combustion engine. Combustion engines, while effective for launch and short-distance missions, are extremely fuel-hungry when used for deep space travel. This is where the concept of orbital refueling comes into play, allowing spacecraft to take on additional fuel in space, as opposed to relying solely on the fuel they launch with. However, there's another solution, nuclear propulsion. Nuclear energy, though often viewed with caution due to the risks associated with its use, holds enormous potential for space travel. Unlike conventional combustion engines, nuclear propulsion systems can generate immense amounts of energy while using very little fuel. In partnership with NASA, General Atomics has recently moved much closer to developing a nuclear engine for space travel. General Atomics, GA, is a prominent company in the defense and diversified technologies sector, founded in 1955. Known for its work in a variety of fields, ranging from electromagnetic systems and power generation to space systems and missile defense, GA has also been conducting cutting-edge research in nuclear energy. One of General Atomic's recent breakthroughs was announced on January 20th, when they revealed that they had successfully executed several high-impact tests at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. These tests were a significant step forward in the development of nuclear thermal propulsion reactor technology. These reactors are designed for rapid, agile lunar transportation and deep space missions, including human missions to Mars. The tests were aimed at validating the performance of GA's specialized nuclear fuel, ensuring that it could withstand the extreme conditions required for deep space exploration. The concept behind nuclear thermal propulsion is quite different from traditional chemical rockets. NTP systems operate by circulating a liquid propellant, usually hydrogen, through a reactor core. Within the core, uranium atoms undergo fission, releasing a significant amount of heat. This heat then rapidly heats the hydrogen propellant, turning it into a gas. The gas is expelled through a nozzle at high speed, creating thrust to propel the spacecraft forward. However, a significant challenge in this process lies in managing the extreme heat generated during fission, especially in the hydrogen gas environment. The heat can cause the fuel to degrade, making it difficult for any fuel to survive the harsh conditions. Fortunately, General Atomics has overcome this hurdle. Scott Forney, president of GA, stated that the recent test results represent a critical milestone in the successful demonstration of nuclear thermal propulsion fuel design. According to Forney, the fuel has now been proven to survive operational conditions, bringing humanity closer to the potential of reliable nuclear thermal propulsion for lunar and deep space missions. The tests which took place at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, exposed the nuclear fuel samples to hot hydrogen flows and subjected them to six thermal cycles, each rapidly reaching a peak temperature of 2,600 Kelvin, about 4,220 degrees Fahrenheit. Each cycle included a 20-minute hold at peak temperature to assess how well the fuel could withstand erosion and degradation caused by the hot hydrogen. These tests revealed that General Atomics was the first company to test and demonstrate the survivability of fuel after such extreme thermal cycling, a significant achievement in the field of nuclear propulsion. To further assess the fuel's durability, General Atomics conducted additional tests incorporating various protective features. The results were even more promising. In a non-hydrogen environment, the fuel performed exceptionally well at temperatures up to 3,000 Kelvin. This allowed the NTP system to achieve two to three times the efficiency of conventional chemical rocket engines, which is a true game-changer for space travel, 
especially for missions to multiple planets. Although nuclear thermal propulsion systems are not new and have been studied since the 1960s, their potential benefits are undeniable. Compared to chemical rocket systems, NTP offers far greater energy density and efficiency. For instance, while the best chemical propulsion systems today achieve a specific impulse, ISP, of around 465 seconds, NTP can almost double that, reaching an ISP of approximately 900 seconds. For context, SpaceX's current Raptor 3 engine has an ISP of only 350 seconds. The increased efficiency of NTP provides a major advantage in space travel. It significantly reduces the initial mass required to launch a spacecraft into low Earth orbit. In addition, the higher thrust-to-weight ratio of NTP systems allows spacecraft to carry much larger payloads. Faster propulsion, too, is a benefit. NTP rockets could potentially reduce travel times for interplanetary missions, which would, in turn, reduce the risk for astronauts. Shorter missions mean astronauts will spend less time exposed to the dangers of deep space, particularly the harmful radiation found outside Earth's protective atmosphere. Radiation is one of the most significant risks to astronauts traveling deep into space. Unlike robotic spacecraft, which are not affected by radiation in the same way, humans are made of organic matter, and exposure to high levels of radiation can damage our cells and DNA, leading to long-term health risks. The longer astronauts spend in space, the more radiation they are exposed to, including dangerous waves like gamma rays, X-rays, and certain types of ultraviolet radiation. A faster journey to Mars would therefore reduce these risks and bring us closer to making deep space exploration, including human missions to Mars, a reality. So, why isn't nuclear propulsion technology being used on Starship right now? The answer lies in a few complications. First, nuclear rockets typically produce less thrust than chemical rockets, which makes them less effective for launching spacecraft from Earth's surface. While nuclear propulsion can operate continuously for weeks, generating a steady buildup of velocity, like the tortoise in the classic tortoise and hare analogy, it does not have the immediate power needed to break free from Earth's gravity. For this reason, nuclear engines would not be used for launching spacecraft from Earth. Instead, SpaceX plans to combine both chemical and nuclear propulsion. Starship is designed to use chemical engines for liftoff with its super-heavy booster, which provides the necessary thrust to escape Earth's atmosphere. Once in space, however, a nuclear engine mounted on the Starship will take over, drastically reducing travel time to Mars and enabling more efficient propulsion. The use of nuclear propulsion in space would enable Starship to reach its destination faster, using less fuel, and ultimately improving the efficiency of interplanetary travel. NASA's collaboration with SpaceX is essential for making this dream a reality. SpaceX will need NASA's expertise in nuclear propulsion to develop and integrate this technology into the Starship program. NASA's decades of research and experience in nuclear energy, as well as their proven track record in space exploration, make them the ideal partner for this ambitious project. Although NASA is often seen as an older organization, its relentless pursuit of new technologies and its determination to push the boundaries of space exploration remain as strong as ever. NASA is always looking for new energy sources to power rocket engines, and nuclear energy seems to be one of the most promising alternatives. In addition to nuclear propulsion, NASA has also been developing other advanced propulsion technologies, such as the ion thruster. An ion thruster is a type of electric propulsion system that ionizes its propellant, usually xenon, by adding or removing electrons, creating positively charged ions. These ions are then accelerated to generate thrust. Ion engines are incredibly efficient, but they produce very low thrust, which means they are mainly used for low-mass spacecraft and missions in the vacuum of space. NASA has been working on improving ion propulsion systems, such as the NASA Evolutionary Xenon Thruster, NEX, which operates at three times the power level of the previous models. This technology is being tested for use in future space science missions and could potentially be used for deep space exploration. As chemical fuel engines reach their physical limits, 
The development of new propulsion technologies like nuclear thermal propulsion and ion thrusters will be crucial for humanity's next steps in space exploration. SpaceX has already made many breakthroughs with traditional rocket technologies, but there's only so much that can be achieved before new solutions are necessary. In the coming decades, advancements in nuclear and electric propulsion systems will play a key role in making long-term, sustainable space travel possible. And NASA and SpaceX's collaboration is sure to shape the future of interplanetary travel.